Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I will show you a code example with time slots based on the date that you would choose. So dynamic form, you choose the date and you get the available time slots that were not picked by other users yet. So for example, if we choose a date of May 28th, we choose the time of 9 a.m., we create, we have a table, and then if someone else or yourself tries to pick that 28th again, as you can see, the start time of 9 a.m. is not available anymore. So how does that work in the code? First, the database migration for reservations table, and we have foreign ID to user ID, and then start time and end time. In your case, it may be different. Maybe you want to save just the start time and duration. That's pretty flexible. Then in the reservation model, nothing really fancy, start time and end time are fillable. Then the main thing is happening here. In the reservation resource, in the form we have two fields, date picker and radio with options. You can customize the date picker however you want. For example, we added the format and required, but that is not really relevant to this video. What is relevant is live. So one form element is live, which means that whenever you change the value, then the whole form refreshes with values and then other form fields could pick up the values, which is exactly happening here in the radio, in the options for the radio. And by the way, this example is with radio button, but the same applies if you go for select for drop down. The main thing is to have dynamic options with this syntax. So options are compiled with separate service class. I will show you that in a minute in a method that passes the get date as a parameter. So date from that date picker. And also we make it hidden until that date is actually chosen. Now what's inside of that reservation service? It's a simple PHP class just called a service with one method of get available times for date. And here we have quite a complex logic with carbon period and collections. And that logic will probably depend on your scenario and will be different for your cases. But in our case, it's this. We create the periods from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with one hour slots. Then we pick the reservations from the database for that date. And then in the collections, we filter the available times, return them as array, and then return the actual result from the function in this format of available reservations. Because the option for radio form field should have key and value pairs. And then one thing that I haven't shown yet is saving the data. So in the page of create reservation, we also have a function mutate form data before create. So as you can see in the service, the key is actually hour. In our case, we're dealing with hours, so we don't deal with minutes. For that reason, we are automatically assigning end time and also transforming that in appropriate date time format. And this is the general method how you transform any data before saving into the database. So we're doing that in the create page. So yeah, three things, reservation resource with dynamic options provided by service with the parameter of date. And then when saving the data, you transform it however you want. As I said, probably your case would be different. So the contents of those three may be different, but the logic should be pretty much the same. And I have also put that example into our filament examples. So we're filling more examples with free snippets. So this one is a free snippet for you to copy the code if you wish, but it comes kind of a simplified version of a more complex example, which is premium, which is appointment system with public form. So from that premium example, you can find out how to put that form in public outside of admin panel. Also how to view that as a calendar and more small details. So you can purchase that at filamentexamples.com. And we recently introduced tiered pricing. So you can purchase all examples for $99 or only the examples of forms, only tables or only full projects for a bit cheaper. I will link that as well in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.